and you literally are like going into a pool. It feels like it's leaking wet and it's water all over you. It's crazy. Alright, so going out for tandem practice. Should be pretty solid. Car feels really, really good. I think we got one of the fastest cars out here right now. And it's still drivable, so that's really, really good. Uh, we'll see what everybody else does for times and speeds and kind of, uh, you know, gauge what we need to do to the car. But I think we're pretty much uh, in our top four setup right now. And it's still drivable, so I'm pretty excited about that. So we'll see how it goes.
So we're gonna do dissecting drifting live here with Vaughn chasing Kevin. He's already done his lead run. Vaughn has a very large advantage. Kevin had a bunch of mistakes. Uh, but let's see what we got here. Vaughn gets a little wheel spin off the hip. Kevin tosses it on the wall, way up there. A little bit of a bobble. Vaughn having to stay a little bit low through there, but keeping his eye on the prize here. Good lead run from Kevin. Super wide. Vaughn's just staying one car back, perfect like he should. Puts it on his door right there, all the way up on it, super close, dives in, putting some heat on him. That's a really good chase run. A little bit of a gap here at the end, Kevin pulling, but that win's definitely going to go to Vaughn. 
It was definitely a really, really good chase run. We've been recently having crash damage of some very expensive parts. So instead of fixing that, we decided to give me you guys. Yeah! For the first time ever, I have more crash damage this weekend than Mr. Chelsea did over. Let's yeah! go All right, so we just ran top 32 against Hilbrin, and we stuck to the plan, did everything we were supposed to do. Um, I got into the first turn in the chase first. Uh, I ran a little bit of a shallower line because uh, he was actually pulling me a little bit and I wanted to catch up. We finished the bank, came down, drove right up to his door, through the inner clip, stayed on his door all the way through the second, uh, second turn. I was just as deep as he was on line, all the way around. Stayed right on his door all the way through inner clip two transition right back onto his door again. I washed out just a little bit, got to the back bumper of his car and finished the run at the back bumper of his car, uh, maybe about a, a car length back. Um, the first three quarters of the run were pretty textbook, exactly kind of what we needed. Uh, and then on the lead run, I went out and ran the best lead run I physically could. Um, I guess uh, I didn't hit any clips. Uh, I mean, I picked all the clips up. I didn't knock any of them over. Um, was wide everywhere I needed to be wide. You know, it was a good, really clean uh, lead run. No, no real mistakes. Uh, but uh, for some reason, he ended up getting the win. I mean, I don't really know why the call was made. I don't really want to overturn it or, or go and uh, protest it or anything. But he hit the inner clip on the lead and the follow run across in front of the judges. He had to shallow up a bunch on the second turn. Um, and the only thing that he, I think, did better than I did in the chase was uh, he didn't do that little washout in the last turn and he stayed near me, but not quite on me. Um, but I gapped him quite a bit on the infield without doing anything low angle or anything. Um, I mean, I think he just had a little bit more angle, and uh, which is odd, you know, because obviously I usually drive a lot of angle, but we had to have a lot of grip in this car, which limited to how much angle we could drive with. Um, you know, I did everything we could. We had a really good car that was as good as I feel that it could be, and I feel that I drove as good as I could have driven. Uh, given the circumstances, but he ended up getting the win, so we just got outdriven, and uh, you know, I think it's the first time in my life I've ever been like outdriven. Like I didn't clearly make any mistakes, and it was pretty even. He just had a little bit more everywhere, so I'm really upset, pretty bummed. I'm actually raged pretty hard, but you know, it is what it is.